So we saw the manipulation, the pull back down to the 230s, the massive bounce, and now the push and the close over previous week high. So I averaged down perfectly at about 228, and I closed half of my position now up at $251. So the only position I have left is 15 January calls. That's still $30,000 worth of calls. It's a lot. It's a, a very, very big position still for me. But I will allow this now to massively run up to 270, maybe even 280 bucks because the trade is completely free. I doubled my money. So now that I took my initial investment off the table, I'm playing on house money, meaning I'm playing on just my profits. And if we look at this point here, we've spent a lot of time in the past year trying to break through this resistance trend line. And multiple times we have rejected here, one, two, three, four times. And finally now we've pushed up and we are closing over it. Now you can see PWH here, this line, that means previous week high. These are gonna be our pivot levels. So previous week high, previous week low. If we break above here, the move up to 300, as we said, is going to happen. If we would have broken below 230, the move down to 200 would have happened. Now, the thing I want you to understand is that just because we closed here, this is not confirmed 100% yet, which is why I released half of my position. If I didn't average down, I would never have done that. I would still be holding on to my trade. But basically, we need to get this breakout and this push through this resistance level. But the TTM squeeze down here has to release. The longer that we have this tight price action, meaning a price and squeeze, meaning a squeeze in price, the longer this move to the upside will end up happening. So I'm expecting 12% move to the upside in probably the next 12 weeks. So I'm in probably the next 12 to 15 days, which is why I'm still holding on to my calls. If we look at the one hour chart as well, we're still bullish. We actually closed up here close to highs of day and we have a massive liquidity zone sitting here as well. So there's a test tomorrow. There's a chance tomorrow that we pull back to test 246 at which I think we'll bounce and move our way back up to 260 or we might push right through this liquidity gap and move our way up to 258 overnight. 